All right, guys, how y'all doing today? Got another 16 280 uh, cells here. I just lined them up, put in the studs, tested the voltage, and they're all at 3.2. Just a couple of millivolts difference. They're going to be added to this bank here. That's a 560 kilowatt hour bank. I'm sorry, 560 amp hour bank. And we're going to put another 280 on this. So I can go ahead and get rid of all of the, uh, the lithium NMC packs that I have, you know, in parallel with this type of bank. I just don't want to mix chemistries anymore. So I'll have all LiPo 4 in this configuration. I'm going to get another 16. So I'll have basically, uh, I don't know, I guess 11, almost 1200 amp hours. Somewhere close. But this should be fun. Also got the new BMSs, and uh, they're the newest one from Dally. They have the onboard fans <clears throat> and all that. So that should be fun to play with. I'm not sure where the hell I put them. They're here somewhere. So they have fans, display screens, and uh, you know, CAN bus. I'm going to see how that's going to work out. See if I can get it to interface with the. Uh, with the inverter. Also, if you get a chance, most of these batteries come with uh, studs with the nuts already on them and you have to screw them into the battery after placing the bars in place. If you're ever given the opportunity, definitely get these guys. They make your life so much easier. And normally they sell them on Amazon, eBay, stuff like that. These are the ones that I was talking about. They come with these. And I don't like using these at all, so. The studs make more sense. You can see the depth, they're higher. You don't have to take the risk of having a set bus bars in place, kind of just have them laying there over the holes and then feeding these screws down into them where you can knock one loose and the thing could end up you know, shorting out the battery, that wouldn't be good. So, the way it's configured now, it's just as easy as basically grabbing a bus bar and, and just like that, it's done. And you can put the next bus bar on these two, and then you put one bus bar on top to join those all together. Where are my bus bars? Let me find one. Okay, so as I was saying with the bus bars, you just take your next one, put that on the next two, and this guy can now join those up. Okay, now you only use this configuration when you're initially putting these batteries in a parallel so you can balance them all to each other. Okay. Make sure you have extra bus bars because it's going to take a lot more than it would if you were just series connecting these batteries.
Here we go. Almost slipped. Tough little guy. Yep, oh, gotta open another pack. Hang on. Put you down for a second. Alright, get off the screw guy. Put away the screws. And just use the bus boss for now. Alright, so as we can see, the positive side is all connected together. How many bus bars did we use? One Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We need fifteen bus bars per side. So it's thirty bus bars in total to to do a parallel so you can actually have these guys, you know, uh, balance themselves up. You wanna set that up and I see a lot of people normally wait about twenty four hours. I know some guys that wait four hours. I mean, the bottom line is this. Basically, put your multimeter on here and check for uh, current running through any of these strings. Any of them. If they have current running through and they're not zeroed, they're not finished balancing yet. So once you get uh, zeros throughout each one of them, it's totally balanced and 100% ready to go. Other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish assembling these and then let them sit for a bit. And I'll uh, give you guys an update a little bit later. Thanks for joining, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like the content, like and share. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day.